As I'm riding from one to another, I see signs in the windows of these stores. And you know what it says? Hiring. Ohio Governor John Kasich talks job creation, plus education and opportunity for the future during a campaign stop in Columbiana County. Good evening. Ohio Governor John Kasich and Lieutenant Governor Mary Taylor return to a familiar campaign stop. The Spread Eagle Tavern in Hanoverton is the same place the pair stumped back in 2010 when they were first elected. 27 First News reporter Dan Martin was there today for the governor's visit. He joins me live in the studio to tell us what he heard. Well, Dave, there are now 41 days left until Election Day, and Governor John Kasich is crisscrossing the Buckeye State, reminding voters of his accomplishments during his first four years in office and why it's important to get out and vote November 4th, even though Kasich appears to have a comfortable lead in the polls over Democratic challenger Ed Fitzgerald. Governor John Kasich says there's still work to do, but he's quick to point out 250,000 jobs have been created in Ohio since he took office, and his administration erased an $8 billion budget deficit without raising taxes. When the money's in your pocket and not in the government's pocket, that means we can run things from the bottom up, not from the top down. I'm a believer in bottom up, not top down. Kasich says continued job growth starts with training people for real jobs that are available right now. There will soon be a website where folks right can find day. salary and education requirements for in-demand industries, and students should be thinking and learning about career paths at an earlier age. If you can get kids excited about what they want to be, then education becomes easy. I liked his idea of, you know, helping kids start early to figure out what they want to do. A lot of times teenagers get to be 18, oh, I'm going to college, I don't know what I'm going to do. Kasich told this crowd of almost 100 to get out and vote November 4th and send a strong message to the rest of the state and the nation. We get out and vote for him, well, then we're going to vote to the rest of the ticket. A Republican that runs a good campaign in Columbiana County can win. Doesn't mean they're going to win every time. There are good Democrats in this county, but it's a healthy two-party system. The better we do, the better everyone does, and the better message we send to the country, Ohio rises. And that's what we're all in for. And as we rise, we help fix the country. Dave, the governor spoke for about 15 to 20 minutes or so. One name he never mentioned the entire time his opponent, Ed, Ed, Fitzgerald. Fitz, Ed Fitzgerald. You know, there had been a uh, debate on whether the two candidates would debate. And mm -hmm. uh, Governor Kasich and his campaign recently pulling out of those debates. It'll be the first time in about 30 years that Ohioans have not heard a debate between the two gubernatorial candidates. They had gone back and forth trying That's to correct. line something up, but interesting strategy deciding not to do That's this. That's right. He said he didn't want to even uh, put, it, put it out there to go do this uh, once all these things started coming out about Ed Fitzgerald uh, in the news the last yeah. couple weeks. Very interesting. Dan, yes. thanks very much tonight.